Uh, child labor, in our understanding and in the work that we do, is really the exploitation of children, uh, whereby they are deprived of their dignity as a child. Child labor is a phenomenon where a child are used for labor purposes that are not commensurate with their age. They are exploited, they are abused. You don't see the harm is affecting the children in their psychologically, uh, spiritually, mentally, in the physical health. They don't see that part. So in the northern part of Nigeria, culture, tradition, misinterpretation of religious injunction and poverty accounts for major reasons why child labor is prevalent. One of the biggest barriers is that uh, one is a culture of silence in our society uh, when they're prosecuting because of lack of evidences okay? or maybe because of the timeliness of reporting incidences because there's no one that's reporting. We are stepping into 26 years and I from the beginning, we are working to, uh, you know, first of all, identify the child labor and the work, differentiate two different things. Then we are identifying and selecting the children. We are actually negotiating with the local community and the employers and the parents that children's education is must. It's, it has to be must. We also engage in high level advocacy to state actors and traditional and religious institution on the need to provide enabling laws for the protection of children. We are a victim support center. And our voice is really the voice of the victims, the self whom we uh, regard as survivors. We have a three-pronged approach where we give them a safe, a safe space. Uh, we give them restorative care through a safe shelter with uh, supporting them for legal services, supporting with the medical, taking them back to school because some are dreaming of becoming something. One of the biggest impacts is having an inroad into the communities. Uh, going back into the communities and uh, creating awareness that they are able to identify victims. They are able to recognize the signs that are there State institutions should provide gainful employment and access to education for children. Now, if children are in school, they would be protected. They are not likely to be exploited. They are not likely to be victimized. They are not likely to be put into child labor. One of the key uh, messages that we also like to you know, send out is uh, the aspect of re-traumatizing victims. Sometimes we overlook the needs of the survivors uh, by, you know, further interrogating them. If the country policy makers, lawmakers, who are running the state and the government, if they are highly convinced, then actually budget is no matter.